Hey. Hey, hey. Oh, shit. Look at that. This kid's impaled on the fucking things. Look. Oh, they're alive. As I'm urinating everywhere. Oh, look. There's, like, dead ones on the thing, too. Look. Oh, this is so fucked. Oh, look at the swing. Swing, swing, swing. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Come here! Excuse me! Shut the fuck up! Look at the fucking sand pit! It's like a death trap! Hi guys, it's Minx here. Hope you're doing well. Just wanna thank my gamer supporter, Paulie TV, for bringing this video. Thank you very much, Paulie. You should check out Paulie's content by hitting the link in the description below. He makes some awesome videos on adventure type games and stuff like that. And I know it's some games that you guys would be interested in. So hit the link below, check him out and show Paulie some love because thanks to him, videos like this are possible. So thank you very much. If you want to support me too, hit the support me link in the description and check it out. It's like Patreon, lots of rewards on offer, such as shout outs like this and other stuff too. I'll be also adding more rewards to some of the higher tiers soon. So you can check that out if you would like. Anyway, see you really soon guys. Let's get into this video, shall we? Hi guys, it's Minx here. Hope you're doing well. I noticed you guys really enjoyed my playthrough of Alice Madness Returns, so I've decided to do some more of American McGee's games. This is Grim. It's a game where basically you play a little farty, smelly, evil goblin man who rewrites fairy stories into horrific nightmares for the characters in the stories. Uh, it's an episodic game, so there's, I think there's 23, maybe, maybe slightly more, maybe slightly less stories in the series, uh, and they're divided into seasons. This is season one, we're going to play on the channel first and see what you guys think, so that's the first eight stories. Um, and uh, the very first story we're going to look at is called A Boy Learns What Fear Is. This is pretty messed up, and as the season goes on, I can tell you now, as I play through the season, it gets increasingly so, and um, a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this, and I hope you guys do too. I love being evil. I think you guys love me being evil. Let's be evil together. It's time to learn, to teach, sorry, this boy what fear really is. Check it out. All right, guys, this is American McGee's Grim. Let's check out the instructions. You are Grim. Everything around Grim turns from light to dark. Use the power to transform cute, happy fairy tales into dark, bloody stories. Walk near things to darken them. Everything you darken raises your darker meter. Raise your darker meter to the next level to darken bigger and bigger things. Control gun using the keyboard, mouse, or both. Okay. It's very basic controls, this. If you stand still, Grim will begin to pee. Aim the pee with the mouse. Press jump to automatically jump to wherever the pee lands. Jump while in the air to perform a butt stop. Butt stomp the goal to progress to the next scene in the story. Happy people and fluffy creatures will clean your dirty work, but stomp near to stun them or reach high enough darker meter to darken them and stop the cleaning. So all you need to know, go fix those fairy tales. Alright. Seems quite simple, but my Alice is pretty simple too. It's just like a platform game, so we'll see. This is A Boy Learns What Fear Is, which is ep uh, chapter one of the first season of American McGee's Grimm. A post-adolescent boy who doesn't know what fear is may be presumed uninformed of other basic emotions. He may be, in short, a dunce and not worth our notice. But here's an account of such ignorance that makes the boy out to be interesting and nearly clever, if lazy. Father, I've heard some talk of fear. Fear of God, of disease, and of death. Fear of the dark? A schoolmate said he was afraid of girls. What is this fear? The smithy is so tranquil and secure, I don't know myself. You'll have to leave home to learn what fear is. Some criminals are being hung at the gallows. You might learn about fear from them. We can't be surprised at the boy's loopy innocence as the father He's seems less eyes. than a bright light. It's so unfair. Sure we roughed up a priest who deserved it. Insulted some nuns, banged a few heads for fun. But we never stole that stupid bell. It's worthless. We're not morons, are we? So you were unjustly convicted of theft? Is that fear? No, that's wrong. Now we'll die for something we didn't are do. Are you afraid of dying? Don't know yet. 
Being half dead isn't half bad. The boy gets no help from these mopes. He might as well have interviewed drying laundry. That was weird. The boy stops by a schoolyard where he helps solve the crime. Okay. Look, here's the bell. It wasn't stolen after all. Those men were innocent. Never. They were certainly guilty of something. <laughs> and have met their just reward. As for the bell, it was purloined from my office and concealed in a sandbox to be retrieved at a later date with the intention of removing it from school premises for illicit purposes or profit or both. The malefactor must be punished. Who would steal a stupid bell? A mischievous, evil, unredeemable, dirty-minded pupil like you. That's who. And as I'm certain you won't confess, all students will share the blame. Get in line for a whipping. That's oh, not he's going to whip him. Besides, it's clear who touched the bell last. Him. That man is an adult. A teacher. You lying little savage. Get in line for a whipping. This guy's a cunt. The brass bell is tarnished and the green stuff has rubbed off on the teacher's hands. Nah, he's an adult. He didn't do I it. I confess. I always wanted a big brass bell of my very own to what? love and protect. Bell and sexual. Fondle. I don't know why. I'm sorry. So the search continues. His ignorance is unimproved. Can no one and nothing teach this boy what fear is? He takes a peculiar job with the local royal. If you can spend the entire night among these dreadful, ugly ghouls and ghosts, they will leave my castle and family forever. Many others have tried and failed, fearing for their lives. Those ghosts are adorable. Stay the course, and you can marry my daughter. They're like a really cute will pillow I learn ghost. What fear is? Guaranteed. Oh no, King. Even you in your majestic wisdom can err. Yeah. I think we know where this is heading. Nothing frightens the boy. Or not so he'll admit it. Ah, another happy wedding. What the f What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Now I think I know what fear is. He just shot himself! A sudden noise is shocking, certainly. And when one evacuates one's bowels on being shocked, he may mistake the cause as fear. So what the, the boy, fuck? to my mind, never did learn what fear was. Title's kind of a misnomer. But it has a more sensible outcome than the brother's tale, where the lad supposedly learns about fear by learning to shudder. His wife dumps cold water down his pants while he's sleeping. Where's the fun in that? Want to learn more about real fear? They are. When a father, thick as a brick, sends his son away to learn about fear, we're right to be skeptical. What can he know about fear and where to find it? True, there's nothing scary close to home. Looks like a child's playpen. Let's fix that, shall we? So we're going to bring fear to this little boy by ruining his world, I think is what we're going to do here. Make it smelly. Let's move! What the f- Oh my god, I'm just peeing everywhere! So, to make it smelly, do I just pee on it? I mean, this certainly seems like a good thing to do, right? What the fuck? So literally, we're just walking around. Oh, these guys clean it up. How do we stop these guys cleaning up? What the fuck? Fucking assholes. Oh, do we get to corrupt it? So if we corrupt all the cleaning shit, I don't think they can clean it up as easily. Like this one, we make it full of blood. Any more cleaning things around? Stomp it! Okay, so this is like a tutorial here, guys. Don't mind me. Alright. Make it gross. Okay, I'm still learning here, guys. So... We just basically had to spread as like everything like even like the rocks and shit go all like weird and pussy and stuff. The water poisons. Everything goes to shit when uh when he's around. We just gotta build up our meter to gross, I guess, by fucking up this guy's The hammer becomes all spiked. This is so weird.
Just fuck this all up as much as possible. There we go. Stinky sounds good. Oh shit, look! Oh shit, we're fucking everything up! It, that, it set everyone on fire! Oh, we, we can even turn the walls and stuff down, look. Oh, this is really fucked up shit, actually. I can imagine this is going to get immeasurably satisfying as it gets on, actually. Sounds like it could be fun. Come on, kill all of them. Kill each and every last one. Look, it's killing the chicken repeatedly, look. Oh, I can bust on them. Ah, I see. That makes a lot more sense now. Make it nasty. Okay, so now we've got to poison this area completely. Come here, you little shit. I'm going to butt stomp you. Oh, crap! The butt stomp makes them like toxic like peasants. Look! Oh, 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 what do they look like? I want to see what they look like. Oh, they're like horrible and grody now. Oh, the trees get fucked. <laughs> now this... This is what I can get behind. Alright, so... I guess we just infect this... Oh, there we go. The main tower is ready for the power of my butt stomp. The power of the grim farts. Let's go. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Things are getting a bit hot. Okay. Scream and burn. <laughs> Pyrophobia is fear of fire. Who's got it? They seem to be dealing with this pretty well. The wave of lava engulfing their hometown. Stomp it. Oh, I've got to platform my way out. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I'll be fine. Well, I'm not gonna mess up platforming. Me? Mess up platforming? Never. Not in a million years ever. I'm not cool. See? Actually, this is going really well. Wow. I actually got to the fire too. But stop these two losers. But stop away! Oh, wow. You know what fear is now, kid? Huh? Huh? Fucking loser. Oh, boo hoo. My dad punched me. Is that his dad? I can't remember. Perfect. I think we really improved that section of the story in one nice move. Boy spends a night under the village gallows and hears the story of a man who's being executed for a crime he didn't commit. Boo hoo! Where there's smoke, there's fire. Anyway, he's dead or nearly. Who cares? Where's the fear? These dead bodies look really happy. Naked. Stinky. Wait, these dead bodies are dealing with this situation remarkably well. All these Let's people move. hanging. They're like, oh, I'm just hanging around. Just a noose. You know, you win some, you lose some. That sort of thing. Yeah. That was one of the worst jokes I've ever made. I'm very sorry. Also, why are they like evil... I don't know. Look, I don't know. Now I... Uh, okay, okay. Grim's allergic to water. That makes sense considering he is like a walking bearer of disease. What are they? They're like little bugs. Little bugs with smiley faces. Bugs aren't happy. All bugs hate people. They want to kill people. Every single bug that ever exists wants to kill people. Bat. We need to fucking... Alright. On to the boat we go. There we go. Okay, great. Great, my, my parkour skills are, are on point still. Just pee in the lake. Pee in the lake till the boat comes around. There we go. Oh. Grim, do you constantly drink? Do you, do you, you constantly drink? The little, the weird ladybug things are cleaning up my shit. We need to get out of here. This area is way too nice. Peeing everywhere. Right, come on, we've got to make this jump. Hup. There we go. All right, let's make this place much better. I think it's much more realistic if these guys are miserable as fuck and choking to death when I go past them. I think that's definitely much better. Can't change these guards yet. The guards are still cleaning everything. Dead body, stop being miserable. Stop writhing in pain. Come on. There you go. I like they're going into death throws when I fucking infect them. They're like swinging on the nooses. Like what? Fuck you, knights. Fuck you. I'm not happy about this. Your behaviour is not allowed. Right, all you guys, start choking. Start choking. That's better. <laughs> there we go. The lake's now lava. Everything's great. This is a much more realistic looking gallows area. I don't know why they didn't go for this look initially. I also don't know why people were so happy about being hung. Alright, let's make this into a massive device of torture. Oh, oh, oh. This 
it's gonna be good. This better be good. I wanna see everyone on there suffer. There you go, much better. Oh yeah, beautiful. You up there too? Yeah, there we go. Break your neck. I mean leg. Okay, his neck actually is fine. Woo! Look at them twist! Let's go! I'm tired of hanging out here. I love the voice acting for Grim. Woo, look at them twist. Alright. The boy exposed the teacher as a thief. Who's afraid of a kleptomaniac or whatever he is? No one found fear here, did they? Let's put a There's kids. into these people. Make it stinky. We have to make the kids stinky? Oh god, what are we gonna do to them? We're so Let's horrible. Move. Like he's really on a mission, isn't he, Grim? He just jumps in. Oh there we go. All those people are already evil. Even oh the teacher's evil as well. They're fucking freaking out. Awesome. Alright, so make the kids stinky and then now, maybe something interesting will happen. Smelly. You're always smelly, Grim, let's be realistic. Alright. Come on. Come on. Infect all of these. Oh, what's this? Oh, a secret. Not so secret now. I mean it was kind of a broad thing. Oh look, he's not he's Are we gonna burn him? We're gonna burn that dude. We're gonna totally burn now, that dude. Alright, kids. Time to get stinky. I'm very sorry about this, but it's gonna happen. Come here. Come here. Oh shit, they turned into a mat. Oh, we are gonna run, burn him. Idiots, run! Oh, it's time for ignition. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit, look at that! This kid's impaled on the fucking things! Look! Oh, they're alive! As I'm urinating everywhere! Oh, look, there's like dead ones on the thing too, look! Oh, this is so fucked! Oh, look at the swing! Swing, swing, swing! Oh, <laughs> oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Come here! Ow. Ow. Excuse me! Shut the fuck up! Look at the fucking sand pit! It's like a death trap! Uh, best playground ever, I think you find is the actual thing. Oh look, they've gone down the slide. The slides have shards of glass in them. What does this have to do with learning about fear? Yes, the teacher is punished for his crime, but really, you call that punishment? Let's make him fry. Yeah, I mean, this is a proper punishment. Make it nasty. I'm pretty sure I've already but done it. Stomp it. Yeah, I was gonna say I've already achieved nasty, as I urinate. On. Oh, I'm an idiot! Did I fuck everything up? Oh, no, okay, it keeps, it keeps my progress, that's good. Didn't realise there was a hole there. Alright, guys. Time to burn, baby, burn! Don't be good! <laughs> burn, baby, burn! Now, that's paying the price. Punishment at its finest. Are we frightened yet? That, that teacher had it coming. That teacher had it coming, you know what I mean? Still looking for fear in all the wrong places? The boy watches as the thief is given a proper burial. But wait! This doesn't look like a burial! More like a wedding! I hate weddings! Let's render it funereal. Or better, or worse. Make it stinky. Alright, here we go. Let's move! Oh, he's such a little cunt, Grim, isn't he? Like, he's a little fucking asshole. Oh, look at the rabbits that clean everything. Fucking assholes! All right, you guys are gonna give me a problem until I get my enough, enough to like fucking. Grim's smelly. Ow. Doing this here is gonna be a real pain in the ass with all these fucking shits. Rabbit cunts everywhere. Fuck them. The one thing I'm noticing about this graveyard is. This was a really happy graveyard, and what we're doing is basically making it more in tune with how graveyards should be. Giant skeleton hands coming out of the ground, bats everywhere, dead bodies. Oh, what did we just do to the, what did we just do to the priest? What did we just do to the priest? Come on, there's little, little birds up here I need to infect. Come here birds, there. birds become bats. Oh, and there's a lot of bats over there. Stomp it! This is much more improvement though, it's much more realistic, 
you know. The priest is getting struck by lightning repeatedly and is now a zombie. We've got a skeleton coming out of the grave in front of him, levitating everywhere. This is how Graveyard should be. We just basically restored this to how it originally was before this shitty fucking interior decor person for this story came and painted it all pink and smiles and happy rainbows. What we're doing is restoring it to its full glory. That's all we're doing, guys. That's all we're doing. We're doing the world a service, if you think about it. That is what we're doing. Alright, anyway, let's get up here and butt stomp the bats and see what happens. Let's make this the best graveyard ever, guys. There we go. <laughs> Fly, my pretties! Fly! <laughs> that top of that gravestone is a giant spider, I just realised. And that tree had a mouth in its leaves. I guess we're getting out of there. On the wings of the bats. Alright, next level. Finally, it seems the boy really does want to find fear. The king's castle is haunted, a fearsome and awful place. If the boy can stay there the entire night, he'll purge the place of fiends and marry the princess. <laughs> can we make sure he fails, please? All right, so there must have been some pretty crap ghosts Make in this tower. Stinky. Like, if the ghosts in here didn't scare him in the story, they must have been some crap Let's ghosts. Move. We need to improve the ghosts, improve the overall atmos of the uh, castle itself. There you go, the king and the kid now are beating the crap out of each other because they're corrupted, wonderful. And uh, already we're seeing marked improvements to this area, wonderful. All right, castle, you look a lot better Stop now. Stop there we go. Good. Horrible creepy statues mean ghosts, walls falling down into pools of lava, skeleton army. This is the way a haunted castle should be. That is the way it should be. And I'm glad the kid is probably going to be scared shitless by this now. We've definitely done a marked improvement. I still one of those really, really, really lame looking ghosts flying around, but I think there's enough spooky ghosts in general for things to be okay. Let's do some platforming. Alright, we've got to butt stomp our way through these uh, lava pits. I can do that. The platforming in this seems relatively easy so far, but I'd probably say that I'm going to die horribly soon on some really difficult platforming sessions as uh, the game progresses, but we'll see. There we go. Ghosts. Creepy balconies. Army of skeletons. We didn't the skeletons. Oh. Okay. There you go, though. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Talk about scary. I almost wet myself. I can't believe he survived the night. He's either missing some part, or they're all made of brass. He's, up, he's not scared of what we just did. We just made this place a living nightmare, and he's like, yeah, I don't care. Oh, yeah. Is he really so. scared of anything? That's the question. Is he really scared of anything? The answer is going to be yes, well, obviously. he conquered the oh-so-scary haunted castle. <laughs> And of course, now there has to be a stinking wedding. Let's finish this before my gorge rises any higher. All right. Make it stinky. Surefire way of making him scared. Ruin his wedding so he thinks his life is absolutely ruined. Let's move. That's the plan, Grim. We're going to stick to it. There's cannons that we have to make stinky here. So let's hurry up and corrupt this area. Corrupt the little kids walking around and get those cannons doing whatever they're going to do. But we need to crash this party and ruin it. He's not getting away with it. He's not getting away with having a happy ending. None of that fucking happy ending shit here. We're going to make things a lot better. Grim's smelly. Good. All right, cannons. Do your best. Let me bust up all of you. There we go. What are you going to do? Get me entrance to the wedding at least. You better. There we go. Destroy that wall. Oh, and uh, kill a bunch of guests as well. I think that's... Uh, I think that was a good trade. All right. They seem completely unfazed by the fact I just rotten. broke into their wedding. In fact, they're just going on with the ceremony. So let's get in there and uh, start bumping off more of the guests. All right, what can we do here? There we go. Oh, that fountain's already much more improved as a urine fountain. We've got gravestones everywhere, dead bodies on the floor. This is already looking much better. The party is really, really rocking. Oh, oh. Now. <laughs> That's more of them dead as well. We could just make this. Why don't they have somebody cannons at a wedding? It seems like it's the dangerous thing to have at don't a wedding. Delay, but stomp away. But stomp away. <laughs> so the princess has turned into a pig and is now chasing. Oh, oh God, what's happening here? 
Well, I guess the princess is really in the mood. <laughs> There's another massive Make cannon. It. Why have a cannon this big? At a wedding, it's huge. All right, so there we go. The princess has been turned into a pig monster. The boy seems genuinely terrified about this. The priest has turned into, I don't know, a, a slightly grimier priest. And we have a massive cannon to launch to seal the deal here. This is going to be the big noise that scares the guy, right? We're nearly there. We need to just get nasty. Come on. Please don't kill me. It Shut up! I love the way. Please don't kill me. It burns. But they just fall in line. Once I've infected them with the plague, they just serve my bidding and infect everyone else around them. I'm like it's a walking disease. All right, here we go. But it's time to butt stop this cannon into oblivion but stop and it. make this the perfect wedding, the dream fairy tale wedding. Let's see what happens here. I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. Are we just going to shoot them? Are we just going to kill them all? Well, we're going to certainly kill a lot of people, it looks like. <laughs> oh, the priest, is it? <laughs> he runs away. Whoops. Now he knows what fear is. At least fear of death. Nothing like a wedding where the bouquet explodes. <laughs> that was beautiful, Grim. Here's to the bitter end. There we go. And a little fart noise to seal the conclusion of the story. Lovely. Well done. Great humor. 10 out of 10, Grim. You're such a lovely guy. Anyway, let's see the dark summary. Despite the title, we were very well acquainted with fear. His pretended ignorance was youthful bravado and an effective ruse. An excuse to leave home and the unwanted supervision of his father. Father, why does everything frighten you? Are you a coward? Your questions like you are ignorant and worthless. Only arrogant fools do not fear the unknown. I fear God and the devil. Likewise, a sudden rise in the price of pig iron and the cost of bread. Realistic I things. fear for the king's health. Well, apart from my the fear ones. of siring a useless son is now proven. And since you don't fear my good opinion, leave this place. Fine. I'll find out what is truly worthy of fear. This scene might strike fear in anything more sentient than a turkey vulture. <laughs> Masses of humans dangling to death like discarded, rotted fruit. The bell-thieving teacher deserved a whipping. That punishment fits the crime, but the crowd demanded more! Kill him! Burn him! Oh, the kids Teach him a lesson! The that kids want to set his teacher on fire! He touched the precious most on us! He bell. touched the precious! What's next? <laughs> the chalk? Kill him! <laughs> Indeed, people, indeed. Fear the lightest hand of justice. It will be served. <laughs> there we burn, go. Baby, Beautiful. Burn. Perfect. Now that's paying a price. Punishment at its finest. Are we frightened yet? If you stay here all night, you will exorcise this castle of its ghosts and ghouls. As compensation, you will marry my daughter. But if you leave She's before so dawn, you will die an excruciating death. I will supervise the execution. <laughs> what a this fun. finally makes some sense. The boy never volunteered to rid the castle of its demons. He was Shanghai! We have ten children. Mm. And oh, I no. eat chocolate and honey all day. The boy's acting. Mm. Oh God. I hope you're not afraid of a little work. Oh no, this is horrible. Oh no, I'm very afraid of something else. Oh joy and bridal. This is so disturbing. <clears throat> to be in love. He's forced to marry a pig woman who... <clears throat> oh God, I don't even know what that Why is. This feel but like it's terrifying. Uh oh, the groom needs a fresh set of drawers. And the bride could use some smelling salts. In the end, you'll excuse my expression, note that the boy learned that fear has at least one thing in common with simple surprise. Both can make you mess your pants unexpectedly. <laughs> May all our stories end so well. Perfect. Ah, until next time. And that was a beautiful story. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this right now. If you did, remember to leave a like on the video and let me know what you thought in the comment section. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider supporting me on Game Wisp. It's the main reason I can keep making stuff like this at the moment. So, 
Thank you so much in advance. If you do support me, hit the support me link in the description to do that. Otherwise, next time on Grin, we'll be doing the wonderful, beautiful, happy and friendly story of Little Red Riding Hood and seeing how Grim changes that into something a lot more warped than you could possibly imagine. Thanks for watching everyone, see you really soon. Here's a little clip from Little Red Riding Hood or should we call it Little Dead Riding Hood? I don't know, but check it out. See you soon. It's gonna be wonderful, nothing bad's gonna happen. It's just okay. It's okay, little I'm granny, it's sorry. okay. <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Gourmet. Gourmet. Let's go inside. <laughs>